So we got a, a exciting topic today. Now, who this is a great topic because these two players are unappreciated, in my opinion. But one is the most underappreciated superstar in NBA history. NBA, yeah, NBA history. He's the most unappreciated. So let's talk about Vince Carter. Vince Carter. We want to talk about longevity, amazing career. Absolutely amazing career. Probably the most athletic player we ever had in NBA history. He's up there, top three. Um, for him to, you know, leap out the gym, him to be the best dunker of all time, best, you know, slam dunker of all time, you still got Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon up there in top three. Dunk, Dominique Wilkins, Dr. J. But Vince Carter's still number one, okay? It, it, it's debatable, but he's, I believe he's still number one in front of Zach Levine. Aaron Gordon and crew. Now, but this Carter wasn't just a dunker. He was an all-around really quick, really good player. Great player. That he can put up 30, sometimes 40, score all over the floor. No. He was a really good shooter. You know, remember the dual days back in, you know, back the crazy, you know, crazy dual uh, matchups between Vince and Allen Iverson in the playoffs 2001 Raptors versus 76ers it was crazy they were both dropping 40 at night um, and what it came down to a game 7 and it came down to Vince Carter missing that shot it was a crazy series they was both dropping 40 every night Allen Iverson is doing his thing Vince Carter is doing his thing they couldn't stop each other that was the time when Vince Carter and T Mac separated. This is the second player we're gonna get to. So again, Vince Carter, great career, best dunker. Can also shoot the ball, could also put up great numbers, you know, score the ball with ease. But this player right here, ladies and gentlemen, if it wasn't for his injuries that set him back for doing his career, he could have been a top five player of all time of all time skill wise top three listen Tracy McGrady was in my opinion the most underappreciated superstar we have ever seen this guy was also an amazing dunker but not just that Scoring wise, nobody can stop him. The great, late great Kobe Bryant said himself, the two toughest players to guard for him was Katie and T Mac. Because T Mac could literally do it all. Remember that, you know, game Magic versus Cleveland? Well, LeBron just coming into the league. Remember when T Mac dropped eight threes in the first half? On LeBron, remember the game versus the Washington Wizards, Gilbert Arenas. Remember that game he dropped sixty two. Remember the dunk. Remember the All Star game where he had two incredible in game dunks, threw it off the backboard and just got it to himself twice. Remember when he went to Houston and did some crazy acrobatic layups. Remember that. Remember that San Antonio game. When he did the impossible 13 points in 39 seconds. In 33 seconds. I'm, excuse me. 13 points in 33 seconds. Who else has done that? Nobody. T Max scoring watch was literally unguardable. People forget how great he was because the injury set him back badly. T Max. Great hassle pull-up game. Unguardable has a pull-up game. T-Mac, who was also in the dunk contest, has some crazy dunks. T-Mac, acrobatic layups. Crazy acrobatic layups. T-Mac, step backs. T-Mac, can also defend. T-Mac, just 
literally unstoppable. The he was one of the biggest shows, biggest show stoppers in the game. People forget how great T Mac was. There's a reason why everybody on 2K loves getting T Mac's jump shot. There's a reason. Like his jump shot is literally a glitch in the game. His jump shot is literally the best jump shot in, in 2K. You can talk to all the 2K gamers. Everybody loves getting T Mac's jump shot. Everybody. For my player, everybody loves getting his jump shot. For my team, everybody loves using T Mac because he's literally an automatic bucket. He's an automatic green light. T Mac was that dog. Kobe gave him the ultimate respect. Him and Kobe had a, a crazy relationship. Crazy friendship. He idolized Kobe. And Kobe gave him the ultimate respect. But nobody else in the league want to give him disrespect. Listen, I'm going to say this one more time. Tracy McGrady was the most underappreciated superstar in NBA history in the game of basketball. Let's, let's name out all the superstars, okay? Dominique Wilkins was appreciated for his a crazy dunking ability, but also can score the ball. He was appreciated. Scotty, Scotty Pippen, all obviously, people hated on him, but he was appreciated. Come on, man. He was definitely appreciated. One of, one of the most greatest defensive players of all time. One of the greatest Rodman players with uh, MJ of all time. Patrick Ewing, incredibly appreciated by the Knicks. In the whole, in everybody else in the league, other than James Dolan, who was the worst owner in basketball. Um, who else? Carl Malone, very appreciated. John Sutton, very appreciated. Steve Nash, very appreciated. But T Mac. I don't hear no analysts talk about this dude. Y'all just hate on him that much? I'm glad he got him a ring by sitting on the bench and not doing anything, but I'm glad he got him a ring because he deserves it. T-Mac, if he didn't get injured so much with his back spasms, same thing with Yao Mean when he has foot injury, that's another un unappreciated player too. But we'll get done that another day. T Mac would have been one of the most skilled players we have ever seen. He still is. He would he would have been one of the best players of all time. At least top 10. At least. T Mac was unstoppable. Vince Carter was, was great for he, what he was. But in my opinion, he was nowhere near talented as Tracy McGrady. Yeah, Vince Carter had the the best hops of all ever. Crazy athleticism. Probably the best athleticism we ever seen. T Maz were not by, not far behind him. Skill set, I think T Maz weight is I his skill set is out of his league, man. And people need these analysts out here that's talking on ESPN and stuff like that. They need to start putting some appreciation on his name. They need to start putting some appreciation on his name. Because he was that dog. Tracy McGrady was that dog. Everybody loved him in 2K. Why not real life? That's all, guys.